Hello, this is Mike Lively, and we're at Daymar College with Matt. Say hello, Matt. Hello. And Zach. Say hello, Zach. Hello. And uh, we're going to pick up some of the topics that we missed last time in Chapter 3 of Classroom in a Book. And we're going to be moving on from there and actually building banner ads today. So what I want to show you real quick is how to cut buttons out, not using the Select Inverse tool, but using the Crop tool, okay? And the History button. So let's go back and let's uh, open up a new Photoshop file here. Let's hit New. So you can see down here on my desktop I have some buttons. I'm just going to right click on those and import those into Photoshop. So just as I did last time I imported my buttons into Photoshop just by a right click import. And now I want to show you not how to use the select tool. Remember how we went select and went inverse. That's kind of clunky. But I'm going to show you how to use the crop tools. Let's control Z that. So here's a crop tool right here and it's, it's very useful when cutting out buttons. I'm going to go ahead and bring this to 100% down here in the bottom panel. And I'm going to crop out one of these buttons. So this, this, this paper button looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit the crop tool, and I'm going to come over here and just crop around it. There you go. And all I have to do is hit enter. Ta-da, isn't that pretty cool? Pretty easy, right? And at that point, let me, bring down this, let me bring this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I want some transparencies. I'm going to duplicate this, and I'll delete that. And then I'll just bring out my magic wand, and just as I did last time, I could actually get rid of all that. But see, I have a problem with the white in the middle. So what I'm going to do now is actually use my select tool. So I'm working with both of them at the same time. So let's hit the select tool and hit the circular select. And I'll come along and get my oval and put it around there. Oval's not quite in the right place, so I can use my arrow keys just to arrow it right into the right place. And now I can use a little inverse image, select inverse. And just hit delete key. And there's a nice image, right? And so if I, I can export that just as I did before, and I have a button. Now, what if I want to do another button? Uh, it's not awkward at all. What you want to do is go to the History. So go to Windows and go to History. And in the History, you can actually go back to where you started. So just climb up the History panel and hit Open. And I'm back to my buttons. Then I just go back and what, do the same process again. Find the Crop tool. Find a button you want. Crop around it. Hit enter, and then just keep continuing with the process. And so it's very easy from that point to cut out all your buttons. So what I'd like you guys to do right now is just go ahead and go to your computers, open up Photoshop, and practice cropping. Okay.